Welcome, and thank you for joining MinIO's Technology Feature Series. We're pleased to present MinIO's key encryption service in this installment. For those interested, our next installment will be on the Sidekick Load Balancer. My name is Jonathan Simons. I'm the CMO over here at MinIO. A few housekeeping notes. Everyone is muted. However, we will be taking questions over the chat function. Um, please feel free to ask them as you have them. We'll address them all at the end. We expect and encourage a healthy Q&A. We'll be making recording and slides available to you to share with your colleagues. During this presentation, uh, doing our presentation this week will be Andreas Aurenhammer. Andreas is an engineer with MinIO and is focused on all things security and cryptography. Andreas's work has covered S3 server-side encryption and analysis and a formal verification of the underlying cryptographic constructions. He's published several blog posts on security, including vulnerabilities created with the com combination of encryption and compression. Andreas has his master's in science in IT security from Technical University Darmstadt and a bachelor in science in computer science from OTH Regensburg. Without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Andreas to take us through uh, an introduction to Kess. Thanks for the introduction, uh, Jonathan. So um, yeah, welcome everyone to this um, Kess overview webinar. Um, what I want to do is um, I want to quickly talk about who we are and what we do, and then dive into what CAS is, what you can do with it, how does it work, and uh, finish with uh, a quick demo um, showing um, a CAS deployment and how it kind of connects to other parts of the system. Yeah, so um, Maneo uh, is a high-performance object storage. Um, you can think, think of it like uh, AWS S3, but for the private cloud. And um, it scales very um, nicely to, to um, uh, in a big infrastructure to petabyte scale. And um, we build um, the Maneo server and the Maneo client and uh, SDKs uh, for various programming languages around um, the S3 API. And um, we also kind of maintain uh, an ecosystem around the Maneo server. One of those projects is CAS. So, um, yeah, and we at Maneo, or Maneo itself is kind of the uh, standard for the private cloud. Um, we are, are mostly deployed on um, yeah, machines in the US and Europe. And here you can also see like we almost um, uh, achieved, achieved 400 million Docker pools. And um, uh, also kind of uh, have a healthy and uh, active community. So we almost uh, passed 8,500 Slack members and 550 uh, developer contribut uh, contributors. Um, for our uh, open source project. And this is because um, Minio is uh, a high performance solution that uh, provides enterprise grade features. Um, obviously, um, Minio uh, implements the full S3 API. So any S3 client application that works with AWS S3 will also work with Minio. And we also are the kind of only um, S3 object storage implementation that provides S3 select. So you can kind of use Manio to um, use SQL-like query, uh, SQL -like query language to um, pass uh, object records and uh, filter them. But um, yeah, today I kind of want to focus more on the uh, features around uh, security and cryptography. So these are kind of the, the encryption related features. And um, specifically, I want to talk about how um, we approach the problem of distributing keys to Minio such that Minio uh, as the S3 server can encrypt those objects using uh, secure encryption implementation. And um, yeah, um, therefore, um, it's important to know what makes us different. Um, so Minio is designed uh, as a simple system such that it can scale. 
and um, yeah, it, it's it's a kind of a standalone binary that can be uh, packaged as a container and then run on Kubernetes. And um, we are actually kind of the most import, uh, most popular object storage on Kubernetes. So um, yeah, we, we basically it fits also in the picture of being kind of the um, leading vendor in the private cloud. And the the biggest differentiator is that Manero is high performance. We are the fastest S3 compatible object storage. So um, yeah, and that's, and this also leads us to um, kind of the our CAS project because we actually saw that um,